Welcome back. And we are here with our favorite entertainment correspondent, our only entertainment only one, correspondent. Yeah. <laughs> but we love you anyway. Francine Brokaw is here to tell us about summer reads and other cool summer stuff. It's great. Uh, summer. These these books are phenomenal, and it's a Southern California author. His name is Alan Brennert, and actually I wanted him on my show, but. Um, but he couldn't come because he's getting prepared to move to Hawaii. Oh. oh. So I brought his three Hawaiian, Hawaiian books. Oh. And that's why I'm in You're feeling all, all floral all Hawaii. Hawaiian. Yes. Yes. Hawaiian. Okay, but, let's, um, let's, let's start in. with Honolulu. And that it's, it's, I gotta tell you, all these books are rich in Hawaiian culture. Really? They are, and the characters are so well-rounded. You will definitely, I, I bought these and you know, I, I don't usually keep books that I've read, mm -hmm. I donate mm -hmm. them or pass them mm -hmm. on. I have to keep these because I know I'm going to read them again. Oh, wow, wow they're that okay. good. So this one, Honolulu, takes starts off in 1914 with a picture bride from Korea. Mm. She comes to Honolulu, and she gets married to this really um, abusive man. Mm. So it's her story after that and how she breaks away and becomes a. I mean. It's, I, can't, I don't want to say anything, because, but it's so rich. Oh, it, wow. The characters, you will mm -hmm. love them all. I oh, love, that's I love wonderful. those yes. types of stories. And I love the cover, too. Mm, it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, Molokai. This is really emotional because uh, this young girl named Rachel, she gets um, leprosy. Mm. And in Molokai, they have Father Damien's leper mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. colony. So at a young age, she gets snatched away from her family and stuck in the leper, leper, leper colony. Mm -hmm. And it's her life there, and um, uh, Kalua Papa is mm -hmm. the name of the colony. And it's, I mean, this will bring you to tears, oh. but it's something that you'll, you, when you finish it, you will just know you've been on a wonderful, wonderful journey. Wow. Well, is, is the leper colony still there? It's vacated. Okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, I don't think anybody's still living there. Mm -hmm. You can't go in there. Mm. I mean, as a, as a tourist, you get to see it from up above, mm -hmm. or at least I did. Right. They might have changed because I haven't been to Molokai for mm -hmm. a long time. Mm. But when I was there, I was only allowed on the on the ledge above, and you can look down, and it's, it's a beautiful location. Mm. It really is a beautiful place. But unfortunately, these people were sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then daughter of Molokai oh. is um, Rachel's daughter, Ruth. Mm. Now, when Rachel had Ruth in the colony, they had to take her immediately as a baby away so mm -hmm. she wouldn't get it. Mm -hmm. So she gets taken to Honolulu, and her father's Japanese and her mother's Hawaiian, mm -hmm. Rachel. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Rachel is Hawaiian. And nobody really wanted um, a half and half, mm -hmm. but this one Japanese family fell in love with her and they adopted her and she became part of their family mm -hmm. and then they moved to California mm -hmm. and then World War II break, broke out. Oh, okay. interesting. And so then they had to go in a, in a um, not concentrate, what's the, 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 the uh, camps, the camps. Right. Mm -hmm. in the camp here. And having her tell her story about living in the camps and what they went through, mm -hmm. it is just an amazing, amazing wow. journey to take. Now, is there one. any truth to any of these books? Well, he re researches um, mm -hmm. Hawaiian. So historical fiction. Yes. Interesting. Uh, yes, because. I love the historical I, fiction. I, I was just oh, thinking about pretty. All I mean, of all yeah. the, they're all so pretty. Oh, they're yeah. beautiful. <laughs> you can just sit them out, but uh, the these are keepers for me. I will definitely be reading them over and over again. Oh, Excellent. Thank That's you great. for the recommendations. That sounds like all perfect of summer them. reading. All of them. You can't mm -hmm. go wrong. Perfect. And you'll fall in love with not only character. Hawaii, but with the characters. So. Very cool. Uh, then I wanted to talk about the International Space Station. Oh. Now, I do this 12 months Shifting a year. Shifting gears slightly. Yes. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> like, can we take our books on the space station yeah. and yeah. Just go on our journey to the moon? But that gonna... reminded me, because in uh, Maui, there's this really great uh, telescope that you can mm -hmm. look up and see. I mean, when I was there, I saw the rings of Saturn mm -hmm. through the, really clearly. It was, it's amazing. So that kind of brought me into the mm -hmm. space station. But I, for 12 months a year, I, I belong to this thing called Spot the Station. Mm -hmm. And you put in your information where you're at, and they will email you when the station is going to be going over 
your head. Oh, that's and they'll, cool. And they'll tell you the time and how long it's going to be there, where it's coming from, south, northwest, you know, how long it's going to be in the, in the sky, and you can see it. You really? can see it. It's this bright, bright light going wow. overhead. And in the summer nights when it's, you know, it's clear, clearer than usual, uh -huh. this is the perfect time for that. So it's um, spotthestation.nasa.gov, uh -huh. and then I have taken my binocular. I don't have a telescope, so mm -hmm. if you want to buy me one, yeah. <laughs> but, well, uh, okay. For what taken, yeah. Yeah. When's your birthday? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I take my binoculars out all the time, and in certain lights with certain reflections, when you're looking up at it, you can see the um, solar arrays on the side. Mm. So you see the station and the side solar panels, mm -hmm. solar rays. And it's just an amazing sight, and I love space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I have. To I that. wonder Very if I've cool. seen that before the space station because I remember seeing like this like really really bright light, and it didn't look like an airplane. You well, know what a lot I mean? of people mistake airplanes because, but mm -hmm. do this or yeah, sign up, I'm going to sign do up that. online. Yeah, star. Yeah. I do. I, I do it all the time, and I keep mm -hmm. a binoculars close by so that when I know it's coming, I will does go out. Does it come every day? No. Does it come? How no. often does it come? There'll be some times when it will come maybe twice a week oh, okay. or once a month. Okay. Mm. It depends on what they're doing. Yes, yeah, how their, their, their um, mm. trajectory is. Mm -hmm. But I look forward to getting those. A lot of times they're like five in the morning and I don't yeah. get up, but the ones that are from anywhere from six o'clock to one o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. I will definitely go out and watch it because it's just so exciting. It's so exciting and it's so amazing to think of like there are actually like people there looking down on the Earth as if it's like the moon mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, I would really love to see Earth from up there mm -hmm. instead of looking up to it. I'd love to mm -hmm. see it. That's so interesting. That's so cool. Very cool. And I just want to remind you that Disneyland's Star Wars Galaxy Edge is opening. Is open by the time mm -hmm. this airs, and that's the new land in Disneyland Resort, and it's all Star Wars. So anybody wow. who's interested in Star Wars so or growing up So is Tomorrowland turning into Star Wars? No, there's okay. one section, I think it's to the, when you're looking at Small World, I think it's to the left. There, it's a big, huge, uh, 14 acres or whatever. It, it's huge. Wow. And so it's an entirely new it's an, section. It's a new, new section, a oh, brand so new I section. Oh, so I thought they were just going to like change no. Star Tours or nope. something. Oh, no, That's I still going to be there for the time being. Okay. Oh, okay. And, but this is a new land. It's got two rides. Uh -huh. It's got tons of shopping, a lot of different um, Star Wars themed restaurants. And that's so fun. It's, it's, it's eating anyway. Jupiter burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they Can have we Jupiter walk into in. the bar where, they, like, in their original, where they like play the music? <laughs> well, there, be there, so is, fun. Yeah. there is a, there is a, a section in there that uh, has uh, space milk. I don't know what they call it, but it's milk and it's green or blue, and I'm going to taste funny. it because I'll let you know. But I love milk. Uh -huh. <laughs> But milk and telescopes. We'll there keep that on there. Yeah, but it's uh, Milky Way, you know. Milky so, Way. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. I can combine all these things together. Be yeah, so that into I, a candy I see bar. the theme here. Yeah, yeah we can afford a Milky Way for your birthday That's for sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want a telescope yeah. so I can see this better. But no, see, this definitely uh, spotthestation.nasa.gov. Mm -hmm. is, is anybody can do that. That'll be super And it fun. tells you when to go out and exactly the direction and the, and the um, angle mm -hmm. that it's going to be. And so you can definitely keep your eye out for it and you'll see it. You'll, you'll see cool. that it's That's that. very cool. Oh, Francie, very thank cool. you so much. You always bring us the most fun things to look out for. All of these are fun and all of those books are keepers. So if you Perfect. want something fun to take to the beach, get one of those. And you heard it here. <laughs> now you have your summer reading all lined up. Thank you, Francine Brokaw, and we'll be right back.